Hello everyone, and welcome to Half-Life Alex. You guys have been suggesting that I play some horror maps for this game for months, and honestly, I don't know why I've been putting it off so much. Half-Life Alex is definitely for VR, but maybe even of all games, one of the best looking games I've ever played. And graphics make up such an important part of horror because it's the thing that most allows you to get immersed in the atmosphere, and maybe second only to sound. The map I'm playing tonight is titled Late Shift, and asks the question, will you survive in this empty office during a strong storm late at night? Now, I find workplace horror to be extremely appealing, because it's so relatable to so many people. I feel like it's the kind of thing that can be very fun and engaging in the moment, but doesn't fully hit until you find yourself in the office late at night or sitting at your desk staring at the front door on security duty. And here we are. Oh, this is so, so good looking. Uh, and we've got the sound design as well. When you pair excellent graphics and properly scaled environments with good sound design, what you get is... Well, what you get is the first couple hours of Resident Evil 7, but now it's in VR! Okay. Uh, I guess we have to use that key card to get inside. Can't quite read that, I'm afraid. Zlikronia Carta... Propusk. Yep, means nothing to me. Uh, do, I, do I get a flashlight of some kind? Here I am, stepping into the void. Oh, I can't see a thing. How am I... <laughs> uh, can I... Put this in my inventory? No. Oh, listen to the sound of that phone ring throughout the building. Hello? Uh, wrong phone, I guess. No, it's this desk right here. Hello? <laughs> what do you want, game? I don't know which game... I don't, I don't know which phone you want me to pick up. I think this is the one. It's gotta be. Oh hey, you're in. Man, I called so many times already. Where have you been? Look, never mind. You're probably curious to why nobody is in the office. Yeah. Well, we used to do early shifts, but a lot of the staff were complaining and saying stupid weird stuff along the lines of the building is haunted. Ooh. It certainly of looks haunted. Anyways, it's 6 a.m. so Try your best on staying awake and doing some work. I stocked the kitchen with a few supplies. Also, there is a pretty bad storm going over us right now, so expect a few power cuts. Probably not. Great. Also, avoid John's office. He's been gone for some time now, and nobody really knows where he is. One night he did a late shift, and then after that, nobody ever heard from him ever again. The police are investigating, so we can't go into his office until they arrive tomorrow. I locked the door, so yeah, I'll probably call later in the morning. Okay, so people complaining about hauntings, one of whom mysteriously disappeared in this very building. This very building where I will be isolated for the remainder of the night, trapped by a raging storm. Oh, and don't forget the power outages. Ah, oh, sounds great. Alright, so this must be my office. Oh, look at that. There's a little command window and everything. Oh, this just looks so tack sharp. I feel like I could look, reach down and push these keys individually. Oh, VR technology is going so far. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like in ten years. Heck, even five years. Because this is completely tricking my brain right now. And what's great about Half-Life Alex is that the environmental interactions are really, really great. Like, you actually have such force feedback where when you reach out and touch an object, 
You feel like something's stopping your hand. I can't wait to see what people create on this platform. Ah. So I'm locked in my own office until I pick up that key card that's over there. Uh, oh, I can turn my own light on and off. This is an odd switch, but then again, this does look to be quite a decrepit old building. Look at me, not even playing the mod, just messing around with the novelty of VR, but when it, when the sounds and the looks, and in the case of Half-Life Alex, just the feeling of interacting with this world all come together so well. Uh, this th I, I really do feel that VR is the way to experience horror, and that's only going to become more, more so in the future. All right. Now, I've already gotten so absorbed in my own spiel, I actually don't... I don't remember if that guy told me anything I'm supposed to be doing, other than absolutely do check out John's office. I think that was the important thing. A blue card to get into here. Dear all staff, please refrain, refrain from attempting to enter John's office. Due to John being missing... We cannot allow any of our employees to tamper with any potential evidence. Tampering with evidence is closely related to the legal issue of spoilation of evidence, which is usually the civil law or due process version of the same concept, but may itself be a crime. Tampering with evidence is also closely related to obstruction of justice and perverting the course of justice, and these two kinds of crimes are often charged together. The goal of tampering with evidence is usually to cover up a crime. Well, that was weirdly worded. That was both a warning and a tutorial. All right. Uh, the door I entered through is now shadowy. Oh, no, there's where I came in. Meaning my card is still on the ground here. Uh, it's got quite a nice ambiance with the grit and dirtiness of the textures and the hum of the lights overhead. I just wish we could hear a little bit more of the patter of rain. Although... I mean, we can kind of hear it if we get close to the window, but this is supposed to be a raging storm. I would probably dial it up some. Uh, but this really does feel like being in an old building late at night. Oh, let's explore, shall we? This kind of feels like when I was working in, uh, stop that, you. This kind of feels like when I was working in stage and event videography, sometimes we'd work in these old theaters, and I feel like, nope, that didn't do what I wanted it to. I meant to slam that door shut. Instead, I slammed it open where I'll have to reach in to pull it shut again. Uh, I'm making things so much worse for myself. I'm going to hang out in the break room while I tell this story. It's not really much of a story, just kind of a vague overview of a general experience. Anyway, I feel like old buildings are built with much more cramped architecture. It's not as open as they do it now, and I'm sure it's safer and easier. Uh, but old buildings just have a thing about them where you never know what's around the corner. I think I have to probably get my key card and open that up. Somebody's walking about upstairs. Yeah, whoever it is is still walking around. This is giving me real flashbacks to actually that first level of Condemned. Okay, let me go... Uh, very notably, I can't sprint. Let me go grab my keycard from this room. Something just broke out there. Should I be hiding, or should I... I think that's coming from the kitchen. Uh, I don't have any kind of 
weapon capability that I know of, I... Should I be hiding instead? I don't know if anything's actually going to try to hurt me. Oh, the lights have gone completely out. God, I do not like uh, knowing that there was just something in there. Ah, oh, that wall of pitch black, I can feel something staring at me from inside. I think I just have to bite the bullet and run over there and hit that switch. <laughs> I am so gonna get blamed for this. Actually, what is that? Get out of my way. Oh, this level of environmental interaction. What are you? <laughs> A little gnome bottle opener? Let's put you back on the counter where you're safe. Let's open up this room. There's no time to linger. Okay, so what was I doing in here? Yeah, um, actually, hmm. There's a surprising lack of direction right now. The only other thing I can think to do is to... maybe try out the supply closet? It's locked. Okay, so my goal for the moment, in the absence of anything else, is going to be to find a blue key card. So that's probably going to be either in that office, or, here's a disturbing thought, in that bathroom. Is there a light switch here? Yes. Oh no, it's these kind of stalls. Oh, like the bathroom in an old school. Anything useful over here? Doesn't seem so. What is this? Huh, kind of looked like a button. <sighs> now, a bit of Horror 101. Obviously, everyone knows that bathroom stalls in video games, especially horror games, equal scares, right? We agree. But this is different because this... This is next level immersion bathroom stall checking. <laughs> There's a little mat in front of the toilet. That's nice. No toilet paper, though. Point stocked for that. Which is it going to be? I'm pleasantly surprised, I suppose. But I'm so... I'm so lost for direction. Uh, the... Utilities in this place leave something to be desired. Uh, I don't know what I did, but the lights just flickered and I heard a door shut somewhere. I definitely heard a door sh- No. No, 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 no. Okay. I do wonder if hearing that means that I made progress, or if there's random events that just happen. Oh, there's a door here that I can open. Uh, is there any way that I can get more lights on in this hallway? That would be... tremendously useful to me. Maybe I can... 
There we go. Okay. That's kind of neat how I have to feel around for the light, but it's also a little bit frustrating. It makes it kind of difficult to figure out what I'm supposed to do. All right, let's move you over here. Wait, you here? The thing is, I also don't want to make it too difficult for me to run in the event that I have to. You know, question. Can I actually... Oh, wow! Yeah, I can! Huh. Alright, so I just had a look at the workshop page, and basically what it said was that the scares on this map are triggered by just walking around and pretty much just waiting for stuff to happen. Now, that's really, really irritating. I don't know why you would make it that way. And I guess the idea... I guess the idea is that you're just kind of along for the ride. You're just supposed to be here doing your job. And then weirdness happens, which is an idea I can appreciate. But even then, they have to give you some sense of direction. Even if the idea isn't to guide you into scares, they should have you doing some kind of active task. Even if it's just some kind of office busy work designed to get you engaged. Because, in a way, the structure of this is actually kind of reminding me of a demo from years ago for a game called One Late Night. It had a similar premise and, come to think of it, even a similar hallway layout to this. Yeah, I feel like this is probably inspired by that now that I think about it. But that had a much greater sense of direction and much less randomness to the scares. In this case, it seems the creator is actually just telling me I have to walk around and wait for stuff to occur. Once again, there's more going on above me. Do you hear that? Oh no, copyright. Oh, oh no, it's playing copyrighted music. Oh. Why did I think things would change between Source 1 and Source 2? Oh lord. No, please no, please no, please no. Uh, and it's not even an original song choice, you're blatantly just ripping off Insidious. Okay, anytime I'm not talking, you're muted. Is it coming from in here? Where is it coming from? And it's pretty distorted. Hopefully that will be enough to... Come on, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Um, hopefully, hopefully the amount of distortion that the creator has applied will be enough to trip up copyright alongside my voice. Come on, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. No, please, I'm begging you. Like, it, literally the copyright is the scariest thing about this right now. No! No, 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 no. Oh, I'm actually just huddled in a corner right now. I'm bringing my shoulders and my hands closer together. Oh, here's that horror I was waiting for. Wait, where even am I? I don't even understand where I am right now. I've completely lost my place. Uh, okay, I think that's the hallway where I was working. Let me through, let me through. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the supply closet. Let me just close myself in here. Okay. Okay. This is my safety bubble. You're intruding. Intruding on my safety bubble. I've got to give credit where credit is due. To have taken me out of it to that extent and then thrown me right back into it to sheer terror. That's a rare feat. 
That's a rare feat, and this map does deserve credit for it. Well, this room is unlocked now. Is there anything in here that I need? Uh, I, I do have to say... I do have to say, this is an aspect of YouTube content creation and not something against the map creator. That music, the way it echoed through the halls of this dingy old building, it actually was quite creepy. But, of course, when I hear music like that, my brain immediately jumps into, okay, how am I going to mitigate the damage of either covering up the sound with my voice or muting, like having an acceptable section of the video that I can mute. <laughs> Take that. I guess after... What? I was gonna say, I guess after each spook I could uh, walk around and see what changed. And even the act of walking around could at the very least... No, 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 no. The worst thing it could have done in that moment was have the door lock leaving me scrambling to jiggle the knob and pull it open while I can feel something behind me creeping up. I can hear a breathing, but from where? Sounds like it's coming from the other side of this wall. Oh wait, there's a bunch of notices pinned on this board. Hang on, ghost, shut up, I'm trying to read. So... I was trying to be sarcastic, but I legitimately am pretty spooked by this right now. Now it sounds like it's coming from right behind me. Alright, um... Dear all staff, I recently noticed red paint along the bottom of John's office door. Now we all know that John has been missing for some time. Please do not disrespect the image that John was. <laughs> he, he's missing and you're talking about him like he's dead. Okay, William, shut up, ghost. I'm trying to get through things and I am not going to let you ruin it. Uh, it honestly kind of sounds like William killed John. Tampering with evidence is closely related to the... Eh, there's the usual better call so legal spiel. Uh, dear old staff, I'm really getting tired of the office equipment getting damaged. Especially in the kitchen. Every morning I come in to find items thrown around. You realize this is coming out of my personal pocket, not out of the office account. Also, I've noticed a strange smell coming from the office closest to the kitchen. I think there might be a bird inside the ceiling. Or some kind of rodent problem? Hi all, have any issues with the office? Place it down in the suggestion box below. John said, hearing strange sounds from the ceiling. Maybe we should check the pipes? Leo Barlow. Whoever deals with red, plaint, red paint, please wash your hands. It's getting everywhere. Helen Crone. Could we maybe get some new phones? These are really out of date. Jenna Coleman. Anyone else notice that people are walking around upstairs? Yet, there isn't an upstairs. Well then increase the rain noise, map maker. You have no excuse. Rain Wilson. I'm tired of people stealing my equipment from my desk. Stop it or I'll call the manager. Michael! Dear all staff, as you may know, we have a serious lighting issue here in the building. With being on the top floor, a lot of the power is leached from the lower floors. Is that how it works? Meaning our lighting grid is very slow and breakable. I'd suggest being slow on the light switches. Turn lights off when not in use. No way! I am leaving on every light that I possibly can. Keeping these on is a battle itself. Also, when the area is experiencing storms or any other type of strong weather that could affect electricity, Expect power cuts. 
It doesn't seem to affect the computers. Mainly just the lights. Last one. Dear all staff. Hey everyone. Just thought I'd say that we're missing the blue keycard. This is a major issue as that keycard opens the entrance door to the office. The last person was seen with the keycard was John. And as we all know, he went missing. So if anyone finds the keycard, call me as soon as possible. Okay, well that's a fire hazard and a half. You need a keycard to escape the building? This place looks mighty flammable. And in the end, it may come to me trying to burn this place down just to hope a hole opens in the wall before it opens in my chest cavity. <laughs> oh my god, I actually just had a g g g g ghost moment. <sighs> Okay, I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go that way. That way. Stop doing that. That, 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 that. What is that? That sounds like something's moving. That sounds like something's moving. In the dark. That's John's door. It's, no! No, 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 no. Oh my god, what is that? No, 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 no. Safety bubble, safety bubble, safety bubble. Oh, talk about sensory overload. Do I? Do I have to just suck it up and push those boxes out of the way and go in there? Jesus. No. Right. Let me in. What do I have to get from you? No. No. Come on. What is this? What is this? Do I just have to feel along the wall? Oh, I'm getting so stuck. No, oh, I dropped the card. Uh, I can't see anything. Okay, game, I can't do anything if I can't see. Okay, I don't know how I just made my way out of that. God, that was annoying. There's definitely sounds coming from beyond that way. Yeah. Well, let me explain. You're done. This is where your life comes to an end. They tried to shut us down, but no, I won't allow it. The office is stronger than all of them. Stronger and bigger than all of us. And I must continue its growth and strength. I struggled for years to keep this place open, to keep it running. And then that's when the office noticed it noticed my love, and it reached out to me. I realized this place isn't an old building. It's a creature, a living organism. It feeds off flesh, and I must give it more. So I'm sorry it came to this. But like I said, this is bigger than all of us. Don't try to escape. You're already deep within the gut of this building. Your only option now is to submit. What about that way? Huh? There's that way. Okay, so... 
Seems this guy really is in on it. I did not expect to be so correct in that assessment. It was kind of a joke. Uh, so it actually is more than just a haunting, but like some kind of living location? Let's go, 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 go. I can't actually sprint at all. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, come on. Run, fat legs, run. Waddle like the wind. Oh, that darkness has got to catch up to me sometime. This is like a nightmare. I feel like this would be a lot more exciting if I could sprint. It would really add a sense of urgency to it. Yep. Uh, well, guess we got around this corner now. And it's another one of these, but with a door at the end, so hopefully, after just a few more hundred thousand minutes and we'll be at the end of this thing 43 bottles of beer on the wall 43 bottles of beer hey look holding down the stick paid off for me it did it to me in vr it finally happened Well, by delaying, I actually managed to sidestep having to turn around, so silver linings, I guess. So that was Late Shift, and all in all, an extremely good effort. If I hadn't read the workshop page, I never would have figured out that in order to progress, you just kind of have to walk back and forth around the office and hope for things to trigger. However, when things did trigger, it was often really, really scary. The excellent graphics and sound design come together to create this deeply atmospheric and immersive experience to where I was getting freaked out even just standing in this dimly lit office, even when nothing was happening. And when you do start to trigger scares, a lot of them were extremely scary, taking full advantage of the sound design to make it really feel like something's in the space with you and I often felt like I had no idea what to do, except to just kind of squish myself into a corner, which is probably what I'd be doing in real life. Now that scare towards the end, when we finally got into John's office... God, that was so great. This is something that I wish games did more of. And in VR, it's just... Oh, totally, totally terrifying. And that's sensory overload scares. It's playing just this absolute symphony of horrific noises. Like noises that you just want to put your hands over your ears and make it stop. I even pretty much tried doing that by locking myself in the janitor's closet, but in the end, I, I realized it just needed me to progress. There was the there were those, like, screams, those agonized human sounds coming from that office after I had caught just a glimpse in the red light of the absolutely horrifying sight that was in there and the sound of the phone ringing over the entire thing, it's just, it was too much to process. And it made it even worse by making it so that it would not stop until I went out and investigated, until I actually went against my will, and I couldn't even just hold down the stick and close my eyes and wait for it to end. I had to actually push my way into that office through the barricade of boxes. Ah, oh, so great. There were some major flaws with the overall execution of this, but in the end, the scares were so good that I was willing to overlook it, and it didn't ruin the overall experience, which is saying a lot. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like me to make, the best place to do that is at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, I will also link that down below. 
And as always, I will see you in the next one.